Oh, yeah. So we had to teach youth athletes how to run properly so they can run faster and gain a competitive advantage in a sport so they can dominate the sport. All right. So I'm just trying to make sure we got good things here. All right. So today we're going to go through a series of uh, uh, moves so that we can learn how to run properly, show you the correct form, and actually how to use it so you can so you can start correcting your form so you can start running correctly. All right. And parents, please. Please stay on with your child to the end of this, end of this because at the end of this, I'm going to uh, uh, take questions, uh, and I also have something for you guys if you guys are interested. A light, very very light uh, workout today. Not going to get you tired or anything, but it's going to be very very technical. So it's very very important that you pay attention to every single thing that we're going to do. All right, so we're going to be doing some some warm up stuff and. Let me just drop this down here a little bit so you can see my feet. All right, so we're going to be doing some, some warm-up stuff really quick. Some good, you know, uh, hip flexor strengthening that we're going to be doing here. We're also going to be doing uh, some some pre-warm-up. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do a pre-warm-up, going into a, to an active warm-up, and then we're going to break into... The, the things here. All right, so all we're going to do now is we're going to start with some squats. All right, so you need to put your feet shoulder width apart. All right, you're going to put your hands out in front of you. And we're going to do, um, I'm sorry, hands behind the head. I'm sorry, hands behind the head. And we're going to do seven squats, okay? Now, watch me as I go down. Once you put your, make sure you keep your weight on your heels as you go down. You're going to go down and you're going to sit for a second and then you're going to come up. And that'll be one. All right, you guys ready? All right, here we go. Feet apart, head behind the head, and go down. Squat, hold for a second, and up. One, down, and up. Two, and down, and up. Three, and down, and up. Four, and down, up. Five, down, and up. Six. Down, up, and seven. Good. Now we're going to repeat that. We're going to do that again, except for we're going to put our hands in the air this time, up in the air, above our head this time. So we're going to do seven again, okay? We're going to do seven again. So I need you to put your hands in the air, feet shoulder width apart, and we're going to go down, hold for a second, up, one, down, two, down, three, down. Four, down, five, down, six, and down, and seven. Good. All right, now keep in mind, we're warming up here. This is our pre-warm-up things. So these things that we're doing, it's going to uh, help prevent injury. So make sure that you take over of these things and you do them. You know. So now we're going to get on the ground. All right, and we're going to do a couple of things down here on the ground. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to skip, what we like to do is we'd like to do sit-ups, but we're going to skip the sit-ups this time. And we're going to come, we're going to get down, all right? And we're going to do what I call the clam, okay? So we're going to get to our side, our right side, all right? Put our hand behind our head, feet and legs together, and we're going to come up, and we're going to squeeze when you come up, okay? You're going to hold this for one second. You're going to drop it down. Make sure you keep your feet, your heels together. All right. Don't, don't raise your heel. Keep your heels together. Squeeze. All right. Squeeze here in your, in your hands and everything and come down. All right. Ready? Here we go. Ready and up. One, down, up. Two, up. Three, up. Four, up. Five, up, six, and up, seven. All right, you should feel that in the hip flexor. We're going to make sure that we keep doing these good hip flexor drills so that we strengthen up our hip flexors. All right, going to the other side. Guys, ready? And here we go. Up, hold it, and one. Up, two, up, three. Four, up, 
five, up, six, up, seven, and we're good. Okay. Now we're going to come over to our hands and knees here. And we're going to do what I call the bird dog, all right? So what is the bird dog? Bird dog is this. We're going to put the right arm up and out and the left leg back. We're going to hold it here. So we got right arm up, left leg back. All right. And then we're going to switch to the other one. All right. Switch to the left arm up, right leg back. All right. And we're going to hold those for a second. So it looks like this. So we're going to be up, one, up, two. Okay. So we're going to do seven of these. So go ahead and get down hands and knees. Let's get ready to do this. All right. Here we go. Ready? And up. Hold it, one, up, hold it, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight. All right, we did one more than the seven. Okay, that's fine. All right. It's fine. All right, come on, let's go sit down. I'm going to sit down. Okay, and we're going to do uh, my rotate these rotations here. Okay, so we're going to put a seven on the front leg, seven on the back leg. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So, you want a seven or an L, whichever way you want to look at it, L on the back. Okay. Now, when we're doing this, we're supposed to have our hands in the air. Some people can't do it. Including me, I got really tight hips, but you need to put your hands in the air. And what we're going to do is we're going to move over, all right, keep our heels on the ground to this side, all right? So we're just going to flip between the two, all right? Just flip between the two here, all right? For those of you who can't do it, you're supposed to keep your hands in the air when you do it. If you can't do that, like me, it's tough for me. You can put your one hand in the back like I'm doing here. Go over. And we're going to work to get both of our hands in the air, okay? All right. So we're going to do seven of these. Ready? All right. Here we go. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And all right, good. good. All right, let's get up. Should have some good flexibility, mobility in the hips. Should be feeling good there. Now we're going to move to a uh, to our lunge and twist. Okay, so in this one, we're just going to stand straight tall, and we're going to step out with a lunge, and we're going to twist, come forward, sit. And stand up. That's one. All right. Then we're gonna do it with the other leg. And step out. Twist. I'm sorry. Step out with the other leg. All right. Switch. Come forward. Sit. Stand up. All right. And that's two. Okay. You guys, got it. All right. So we're gonna do five of these. Five of these. All right. So we're gonna stand back a little bit. Hands out in front. And step. And twist forward, sit up. That's one. I'm going to step back because I have space. <laughs> I need space. All right, I'm going to step again and twist. Keep your head and chest forward. Forward, sit up. That's two. Here we go. Doing it again. Yeah. Push forward. Uh, that's three. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see it. Yeah. Two. Four. Sit. Up. Uh, that's four. And last one. Yeah. Two. Four. Sit. And up. Uh, that's five. All right. Good. That was some more good hip, hip work. We're going to go back to a little bit more hip work, okay? 
Now this is what I use with my my daughter Chloe, right before she went and won the uh, the spring league championship in her in her track and field um, event, and that put her number two in the country. After was, after we did these, it was good. Right before you warm up, right? So here we go. We're gonna do these lunge, side lunge, and reach. Okay. So we're gonna stand up, hands out in front again. We're gonna step over. You want to reach. You want to come back. And then up. All right. That's one. All right. You guys ready? We do, we do, we do 40s. We do 40s. Okay. All right. Hands in front. We're going to step out and reach. Come forward. And up. That's one. I'm going to step over so you can see, see me. All right. Step out. Reach. Forward. Up, that's two. All right, do it again. Step out and reach. Four. Up, that's three. And the last one. Step out, reach. Four. And up, and that's four. Okay, that's good. All right, so we got some good hip action going on there. All right. Now let's start a little bit of our active. Dynamic warm up. We're gonna do a couple jump, a series of jumping jacks. First one, we're gonna do regular. Then we're gonna go to a half jacks where we go on our hips, and then a steel jack where we clap in front. All right. So let's go ahead and do the regular jacks, just normal jumper jacks that you do in PE. All right. So you guys ready? We're gonna do ten. Start down and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. All right, that's good. Good, good. Hips nice and loose, man. That's good. All right, hands on the hip. And we're going to do half jacks. Half jacks are the same. We're going to start with our feet open. We're going to come in just like this, okay? Keep your hands on your hips. All right, you guys ready? Ten of these. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. All right, good. All right, last one here. We're gonna do seal jacks. All right, so be wide and in front. We're gonna clap like a seal. That's why they call them seal jacks. Or maybe they do this in the Navy SEALs, and that's why they call them seal jacks. I don't know. But here we go. We're gonna go out and clap on a one, okay? Got 10 of these. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good. Great, great, great. Now that's good. All right, now that's an abbreviated version of our uh, injury prevention drills, which is our pre warm up, then some active dynamic warm up stuff. And then uh, now we're going to move into our actual workout. So in our normal sessions, that's kind of what we do. Uh, we'll do a pre warm up. Um, Typically, I like you guys to do your pre warm up before we actually get on. That saves a lot of time. Uh, get the pre warm up in. That's the same every single time. Um, and if you haven't gotten those injury prevention drills, there, there in the, there uh, in your email, you can go grab those. Okay. All right. So we're going to talk about the four things that's keeping us from running faster. Those four things are arm swing, body position, knee drive, and foot placement. We fix those four things, you're automatically going to go faster. So today we're going to talk about how to fix those, how to how to actually uh, do these things. So first thing is arm swing. So when we're doing our arm swing, guys, one thing that's really important are our hands, okay? A lot of people like to clench, clench their fists, and clenching your fists is not really a good thing to do, all right? If you want to have your hands closed, that's fine. I typically tell everybody to keep their hands open. Why? Because you can, you can spread your fingers without... You can spread your fingers without uh, flexing your bicep, all right? You can spread your fingers and hold your fingers tight without flex, flexing your bicep. But if you close your fist and you close your fist tight, you tend to tighten up your bicep, all right? And when you tighten up your bicep, so that keeps you, that keeps, gets your arms fatigued and you start running slower. So you want to keep your hands open, all right? Hands open, nice and loose, okay? And we're going to come and we're going to turn to the side here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do what I like to call your chin 
to pocket arm swing, okay? Chin to pocket arm swing, okay? That's what we want to be. On the other side, the same thing. Chin to the pocket. Chin to the pocket. All right? Wide hands, chin to the pocket. Okay? Just like this. All right? Now, in my Harper method, what I tell you to do is hammer the arms. So what do I mean by hammer the arms? I simply mean that you come from chin to pocket, but as you come to the pocket, you want to pretend like there's a wall behind you, and you want to hammer that wall, okay? Hammer the wall behind you, okay? So that force coming back to hammer the wall, okay? So we're going to do that on both sides. Chin to pocket. Now, a lot of times people, when they do this, they like to drop their elbow and go here. We don't want to do that. You want to stay here. All right, and keep the arm bent, okay? Keep it bent, all right, without trying to, without flexing that, that bicep, all right? So here we go. We're going to go chin to pocket. We're going to do this 10, 10 arm swings, just like this. Make sure you hammer the arm behind, hammer the wall behind you, okay? So one hand on the chin, other hand on the pocket back here, all right? And we're going to go 10, ready? And go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now, I'm going to turn forward so you can see it in the front. And now, when we go forward, I want you to, to take this take this note here. Don't cross the body. Cross the body, watch what happens. We start to rock. That gets me off balance. We want to stay strong. All right? It's in the pocket right here. Okay? Let's do ten more. All right, ready? Chin, one hand on the pocket, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good. Chin the pocket, good. Make sure you hammer the arm behind, hammer the wall behind you, okay? All right, good. So that's our arm swing. Okay. The next thing we're gonna move on to is our body position. Our right, body position is really fairly easy. I want to give you a tip that's going to help you put your body in the right position. So what we like to do is I like to tell you to put your hands on your hip. The reason why I put your hands on your hip because it helps you counter and balance this thing I call the bowl, okay? So the bowl is really just your hips. You want to keep that bowl upright, okay? If you put the bowl too far forward, then you got, let's say you got water in that bowl. If you go your bowl too far forward, that water's going to spill out the bowl, all right? If you go... Put the bowl too far backward, the water's going to spill out the bowl. So we want to keep the water in the bowl, hold the bowl up, right, so it doesn't spill. We don't want to go too far forward, too far backward, all right? Now the water's going to splash around. That's fine. All right, so we put our hands on the hip. And then something we're going to go over in just a second here is coming up on our toes. So I want to come up on our toes, and we want to stretch our back straight as tall as possible. Think I want to be tall as possible. Stretch your head, stretch your neck, fully out, okay? Get a big chest here, okay? So look at it from the side. So I got my hands on my hip, coming up on my toes, and I'm stretching everything up. Think up, 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 and stretch, okay? And we're going to do that. We're going to hold that for five seconds, okay? And that's the position you need to be in when you're running, okay? So let's go. Hand on the hip, come up on your toes, ready? And go, come up. Stretch up, 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 and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. All right, good. That's the position. So the next thing you do is when you do that, you want to put the hands up. All right, so let's go. Do it one more time. We're going to stretch up. Ready? Come up on the toes and stretch up. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. All right, good. That's your body position. All right. Let's put our arms with that. Let's put our arms with that. Stretching up, body position correct. We're gonna put our arms up, just in that ready position here. One arm, one hand on the chin, one hand on the pocket, okay? So here we go, ready? Hands on the hip, come up on your toes, keep the bowl right, stretch up tall, and put your arms in position, one hand on the chin, one hand on the pocket. And we're holding this five, four, three, two, one. All right. So now you feel where you feel where you're supposed to be. All right. That's good. Feel where you're supposed to be. That's our body position. All right. Good. 
So what we went over, the arm swing. Hey, remember. Okay. When I do when I go through my Harper method inside of the Harper system, so what I do is I teach you to hammer the arms behind you. Okay. Hammer the wall behind you. Chain to pocket. Okay. Chain to pocket. Hammer the wall behind you. All right. And then we want to do the E part, which is elevate the torso. We want to elevate the torso, get high. All right. Hands up and keep it tall. All right. Keep it tall. All right. Cool. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move on to our knee drive. Okay. What does our knee drive mean? A lot of people, when they run, a lot of youth athletes, when they run, they, they, their knees stay slanted. I'm sorry. I'm on a hill here. So it's kind of, I'm, I'm losing my balance a little bit. But they keep their knees slanted. That's no. We need to keep our knees up to a 90 degree angle. All right. Not over stretching, not 120, but straight 90. Okay. All right, because we're going to be doing some work here with our legs coming through, okay? So we're going to get up here to a 90, all right? And we're going to come down. We're going to bring the other knee up to a 90 as well. Now, take note of my feet. And we're going to talk about this here in a second, all right? But take note of my feet. I want you to keep your feet flat like this. Don't point your toes. Just keep your feet flat. I'm going to tell you about that more in a second here. But we're going to do... So I'm marching in place. We're going to forget the arms right now. We're going to forget coming up tall. We're just going to sit, just flat foot it here. And I just want you to march just like this. Real easy. You drive your knee up, okay? Drive your knee up. Real easy, just like this. All right, we're going to do 10 of those. Okay, you guys ready? We'll turn to the side so we can see what it looks like. Ready and go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good. Now, that's our knee drive. When we get into our system, I tell you to punch the knee. And that really, that's really like driving the knee up. Like driving the knee up. Okay? Punch through. All right, so I'm going to do it from the front. Do it one more time so you can see it. All right, here we go. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, good. You felt that. You felt that. All right, we talked about arm swing. Remember arm swing, chin the pocket. Talk about getting up tall. All right. Now we're going to add the knees to this, okay? The knees, 90 degree angle. Keep your foot flat. Don't point your toes, okay? So here we go. I want you to do this. Hands on the hip. I'm starting from the side. We're going to do 10 of these marches. We're going to add the arms now, okay? Hands on the hip. Stand up tall. All right. Put one hand on the chin, one hand on the pocket. And we're going to march starting with one foot. It doesn't matter which one foot it is, as long as it's opposite of your arm. Okay, here we go. Ready? And go. Stay tall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, good. Now, last component. The feet. How do you strike the ground? A lot of people, they tend to strike the ground either flat with it like this, or they are landing like this. If you're landing like this, that means you're overstriding. And guess what? Whatever you put force into the ground, the ground is going to put force back through your body in the opposite direction. So that means if I land like this, the ground is going to give me this push back on me. Okay? That's literally putting on the brakes. All right? If I land like this, you're going to give the ground this force, so the ground is going to give me this force. So now I'm popping up. Right, but what we need to do is land on the ball of our foot. And what is the ball of the foot? That's literally, I always say the toes. Some people don't like that, and I say toes because everybody understands toes. Run on your toes, right? So, really, the ball of the foot. So, when you come down on the ground, you want to strike on the ball of your foot, just like this, this foot here. All right, but guess what? When I land here. The ground is going to give me this force. 
And if we're trying to run four, it's going to help me propel. All right. So we're going to land on the ball of our foot just like this. So we'll come up to our toes here. And we're going to land on the ball of our foot. All right. Now, make sure we do what I call Dorsey flex. That's Dorsey flex. Now, everybody calls it Dorsey flex. It's a flat foot with your toes to the sky. Flat foot, toes to the sky. Okay. So when you when you're coming up, make sure you keep your flat foot so to the sky and you're landing on the ball of the foot like this. Okay. So we're gonna do that now. We're not gonna worry about the arms right now. We're gonna go back to just marching. We're gonna come up with the toes, come up on the toes now, and we're gonna march in place 10, landing on the ball of the foot. Okay, guys, you ready? Here we go. And go. One, two. Three, four, five, keep the foot flat, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, make sure you keep your foot flat. Don't point your toes, okay? You're not in the marching band. All right, one more time from the front. You guys ready? Here we go. Up on the toe, and go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And down. Good. All right. We talked about those four things, right? We're going to put them all together right now. And we're going to move with this. All right. We're going to do two more things. We're going to move with this. All right. So that means I'm going to start right here so you can see we're going to actually march forward now. Come up on the toes, hand on the chin, hand on the pocket. Bring your knee up, and we're just going to march each step, okay? Take it a step each time. We're going to do about six to seven steps, okay? Let's do seven. All right, I like seven. It's a nice, it's the God number, okay? So we're going to do seven of those steps. We're going to move back. Seven of those steps, moving forward, okay? Here we go. Put everything that we learned together. Come up on the toe. One hand on the chin, one hand on the pocket. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, good. Good, good, good. All right, we're we'll gonna go back. We're we'll gonna do it one more time. Come up on the toes. One hand on the chin, one hand on the pocket. Knee up and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, good. Now, last tip. When you're doing this, make sure you don't drop your elbow. All right, a lot of people like to drop the elbow when they're doing this. Stay tall. All right, stay tall. Okay, good. Last thing, we're going to do what I call high knees. All right, or what everybody calls high knees. Same form, same form. All right, same form here. We're just going to run in place. Okay, we're going to run in place. Make sure you keep a good form. Don't flap your arms. Don't cross your body. Good chin to pocket movement. Now we're moving a little faster, okay? Running in place. You guys ready? All right, here we go. Come up on the toes. One hand on the chin, hand on the pocket. Knee up and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, All right. Good, all right, good. Now, remember, opposite arm, opposite leg action. We don't wanna be, we don't wanna look like a puppet. <laughs> Same arm, that's puppet. We need to do opposite arm, opposite leg, that's running. All right, here we go. Now, I'm turning to the side, we'll do it one more time. Remember, opposite arm, opposite leg, okay? Guys, ready? Last one, here we go, stand on top. One chair, hand on the chair, other hand, chair, uh, hand on the pocket. Knee up and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. All right. That's good. Great, great job, guys. Recap. Recap. All right. Here's a recap. Arm swing. Make sure you stand hammer the wall behind you. Body position. Hand on the hip, stay up tall, knee drive, bring your knee up, 
90 degree angle. Force the flex the foot and land on your toe. Okay, that's what that's what it takes. Right there. We work on this every day. Work on this every day. So it becomes second nature. Okay. Then you're gonna move with it. All right. Good thing is learning how to do it. The next thing is actually moving with it. Okay. So that's that portion. All right. So that are here want to know how you can take your youth athlete from where they are now to learning how to run properly, to running properly, running faster, and dominate the sport. If that's you, just type yes in the chat. Just type yes in the chat. Okay. Okay. Just type yes in the chat. We want to know how your youth, how your youth athlete can go from where they are now to run it properly and run it faster. If that's you, I got a special offer for you. All right. If you want to hear about it, just type yes in the chat. You guys will know where to chat. If you tap your screen, if you're on the phone, tap your screen. You go to the bottom, it says chat there. If you tap on that, you can, you can chat right up in there. Ooh, sorry, I'm moving this, moving the phone. So that's you. All right. If that's not you, okay. Okay, I got yes. Okay, cool. All right. So if you're ready to hear that, just give me about 30 seconds. I'm going to go transfer this call to my computer so you guys can see, so you guys can uh, see my presentation, okay? So just hold on for just a second. Give me about 30 seconds, and I'll be right back with you. Let me transfer this to my computer, okay? all right okay i'm here let me get some light here let me say let's do light give me some light here so we guys can see all right yeah, I am. Put this there for just a second. Get the recording. We're doing good. So, what I have, what I have for you guys here, let me get, just give me a second. Let me get this light put on. Thank you for bearing with me. Okay. All right, that's much better. All right, so what I have here, guys, and I want to take you through this so you guys can see kind of what it is. How many of you guys liked that session? Did you guys like that session? Was it good? Was it informative? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right. Was it good, informative session? Did you like that? All right, cool. So let's. Go ahead and pull this up here. Let me share my screen for you. And share, we're good. Okay, good. All right, so what I have is the Harper System, the Running Mechanics Mastery Program. It's just a four week online youth sport, uh, speed program. All right, so 
or it is kind of the Harper system. The Harper system. The key that lo unlocks speed is actually running properly. And it's only available through my Harper system with running mechanics mastery program that I developed over the last 15 years. Okay. So tonight I'm going to tell you three secrets about it really quick. And uh, three secrets about online training and, and the Harper system. And uh, let's see if this, this, this works out for you. All right. So first of all, secret number one is online training accelerates results. Okay. Um, and how does it do that? So you might be tired. You may have tried some drills online that may, that may have worked or may not have worked, or maybe you like lost money on an online program that you or your child hasn't even opened. All right. Right. <laughs> uh, or you might not know if online training is right for you because you didn't have the support you needed. Um, you probably just got videos with no coach to guide you. And what you really need is feedback and expert guidance to actually supplement those videos, right? So here's how online programs actually work. Online programs work for you because they allow for a, a deeper amount of learning. So you get unlimited repeats of the information. You always have a reference. Um, you get to shorten the time from learning to mastery, okay? Because you have those videos, you can always go back and repeat them. You always have something that shows you what's going on instead of having to wait from week to week to, to meet with your coach, all right? And then that helps you shorten the time from learning to actually mastering what you, what you got going on here, okay? So online training, in that sense, it speeds up the process about 5X, all right, how many want to go 5x faster, <laughs> right? So uh, here's, a, here's a mother that uh, her name is Renee. She had no experience in running or even coaching. But with this online program that I gave her, she, her daughter dropped six seconds in only two weeks. So she was able to get faster by six seconds in just two weeks. And this mom had no experience in running. She had never ran before. She had never had any coaching experience, but she was able to do it with her daughter in six weeks, right? So as we went off, we talked about outside, we talked about there's four mistakes that your kids are making that's keeping them from running faster. Um, but there's also four ingredients of speed. And those, is, those ingredients are mechanics. And we went over those, those four things. We went over that. The next thing is power, then acceleration, and then maintenance, okay? Of those four mistakes, we have to start with the basics though. So we're gonna move to, we're gonna master the basics first. So we're gonna master the four mistakes, the knee drive, arm swing, body position, foot placement. Now we went over some of those things outside, but there's, there's more to that, but those are the basics. Those things that I just taught you were things that'll get you started, okay? All right, moving on to secret number two. Conditions or prior injury actually benefit from these running programs, for this running program. All right, so you might have had, or your youth athlete might have uh, been in a cookie cutter program where you get drills from coaches that may not always be the correct drill for your youth athlete. And that may be the exact reason why they're not working. So, because here's the reality. Some athlete, all athletes are built different, right? Some are, are flat-footed, some are bow-legged, some had prior injuries, some are toe walkers. I know my son, he's a toe walker, right? Uh, but each one of these conditions needs specific drills to correct the issue. So the reality is your child just needs drills that train them to run properly despite the condition or prior injury. So here's an example. Um, my wife, Rachel, she had surgery in high school um, as a junior, and that caused her to have miss her entire season as her, her junior season. On a, and on top of that, she's, she's actually flat-footed, right? But after surgery, surgery and recovery, she resumed her training. She reached out to a college coach. The coach came to see her run, and she was offered a Division I track and field scholarship. And that's with having a prior injury and flat feet. Um, and as a side note, Usain Bolt, probably the fastest man in the world, probably still is the fastest man in the world. He's not competing anymore, but he's actually flat-footed. All right? So if you have any of those conditions, flat-footed, anything like that, you don't have to worry. This Stuff is going to actually benefit. You're actually going to benefit from doing stuff like this, okay? And in fact, some of the things that I do, um, um, some of the doctors prescribe their physical therapy patients to do these same things that have these same issues, all right? So let's move on to secret number three. 
Secret number three means is it only takes about 15 minutes to see results. All right. So what I mean by that. So I always tell you guys about the 15 minute rule, right? So the 15 minute rule means with all the, all the schedules and all the schedules that you have, you got school, you got work, you got practice, you got games. You may think it's hard to find time to do any type of extra training, but actually it only takes about 15 minutes, three times a week to see results in about 30 days or less. Like you see Renee, she was able to do it in two weeks. So that's like 14 days, right? Um, but some coaches, they want to train your athlete for two to three hours and that can lead to overtraining and burnout. So more is not always better in that case. So I always go by the 15 minute rule. So what is the 15 minute rule? It means if you work 15 extra minutes, three times per week on a consistent basis, that actually is going to compound. And how, here's how, here how, here how that, here's how that breaks down. Sorry. <laughs> One week, you got 45 extra minutes. If you do it over a month, you got 180 extra minutes. And if you take that and do that over 12 months, you got 2,160 extra minutes. So you're, you're going to be 2,160 minutes better than everyone else. Right? So how's that for a number, right? So just 45 extra minutes a week, that's 15 minutes three times a week. And you literally can do this. And literally, guy, in 30 days or less, you guys can do that. So give you an example. My own daughter, Chloe, um, she just in 15 minutes, three times a week, we went from, we took her from being just starting track and field. She just started probably about April of this year. And six weeks later, she was number two in the nation <laughs> in her long jump. Why? Because we did the 15 minute rule. And plus she had a, she had a coach that knows what he's doing too. <laughs> so that, that helped a lot, but she got, she got a lot faster because when she, from where she was starting at on her long jump till she got to where she's supposed to actually jump from, she was at 39 feet. We had to move her back to 51 feet because she had gotten that much faster. She was reaching the board way before she was, uh, was ready to jump. So we had to move her back to 51 feet. So that's a sign of actually getting faster. And if you want to look at someone who's older, I have another girl um, when I was a head coach at one of the high schools here in Georgia, she actually set a county record and she ranked among the nation's best in long jump because she went from 11, she went from 12.2 seconds in the 100 meter dash to 11.88 in the 100 meter dash. And that was what got her to be able to run and jump this far uh, because she was so fast, right? Um, and from that, she got offers from University of Georgia, Kennesaw State, uh, uh, I'm sorry, University of Virginia, Hampton University, Kennesaw State, Troy University. Um, and then she actually also got a scholarship from Coastal Carolina. Uh, and, you know, we were talking to other people, a couple of other people like Florida State and University of Georgia. Um, but she set a county record and she ended up being number 10 in the country after that. All right. So let me ask you a question. Do you think training like your athlete got earlier would work for them if they were to continue to work with me? And you can just type yes or no in the chat. Just let me know. Just, just ask me, do you think that training like this and everything that I told you, you think that would work for your, for your youth athlete? And I know you guys are on a you guys are on a delay, so I know it takes a little while. So if I'm quiet for a minute here, I'm just waiting for you to respond here in the chat. But do you think that training like this would have would, would help your help your athlete? Lots of people say yes. Lots of people say yes. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Now. One last question. Can I get about 10 more minutes? Just 10 more minutes to go over a special offer for you guys that can help you take you take you from where you are to running faster, running properly and running faster. Just 10 more minutes. Is that okay? Just 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes to talk to the parents. Hey, like, I you know, you guys are, again, you guys are on a delay. It's just to talk to your parents. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So listen. Here's what I have for you guys. You're gonna be really excited. You're gonna be really excited about this one. All right. So here's what I have. I have the Harper System Running Mechanics Mastery Program. Okay. Give me about 10 minutes to talk about this program right here. Okay. Now, when your when your youth athletes work with me and then work with me inside of this system, they're gonna be able to run faster. They're gonna be able to jump higher. They're gonna improve their performance. We're going to get rid of slower times. We're going to get rid of being the slowest on the team, and we're going to get rid of mediocre performances, all right? So in this program, they're going to learn proper stretching techniques. They're going to learn proper running mechanics. They're going to learn how to utilize their speed to have an advantage in their sport. They're also going to learn nutrition for peak performance and health, the elite athlete mindset, and, of course, life principles. I always talk about life principles in this thing, okay? So... That means your problem that you're having now is absolutely solved. You no longer have to figure out what drills that your, your what your athlete is going to have, what drills your athlete is going to need to do. You no longer need to worry about how you're going to fit extra training into your schedule. You're also no longer going to have to worry about your athletes can if, if your athlete's condition will affect their sports career, and you're no longer going to have to worry about giving them the correct advice because I'm going to do it for you. I'm going to put everything together in a nice package and then I'm, I'm going to take care of all of that for you. So you don't have to worry about that. And because I do that, you're going to have, you're going to save a lot of time and you're going to save a lot of money. So when you use this system, you're going to save a huge amount of time researching the drills uh, to do, to fix how your athlete runs. Cause I'm going to do that for you. Um, I spent the last 15 years developing this. So you don't have to try to figure it out. All right, teaching your, teaching your athlete how to run properly is the prerequisite to playing any sport because you have to run to play any sport, right? Or most sports. I can't say any sport because, you know, unless you're, you know, swimming, <laughs> right? You don't have to run and swim. But most sports that you play, most sports nowadays, the prerequisite to learn to run and play in a sport is running, right? So to play any sport, and investing in them now will save you from having to invest in their college education later because they're going to be able to run faster. Once they start running faster, the coach, it's going to be a trickle effect. The coach is going to notice them. They probably want to get a lot more playing time. They're going to be faster than everybody else that's on the field or the court or the track. And then they're going to get noticed. And then they're going to get picked up uh, to go to school with, for, with, with, a, uh, with a scholarship. All right. So let me ask you another question really quick. Would you like to spend a few dollars now or you want to spend four hundred thousand dollars later on an education? You know, I'm gonna I'm <laughs> I'm a parent uh, and I definitely would love to spend, you know, a couple of hundred dollars, a couple thousand dollars now instead of having to pay four hundred thousand dollars for an education for my daughter or or my sons, or having to have them go get loans that's gonna start them in life with debt right we don't want them to do that right i've been down that road don't want to go down that road anymore so here's what you're going to get you're going to get lifetime access to the harper system running mechanics mastery program it's valued over 997 dollars right so let's talk about that so in the harper system you're going to get the harper method framework so what is the difference between the harper system the harper system is everything combined the harper method is the framework that we use to teach you how to run properly once you teach you learn how to pro run properly you're going to start running faster. So Harper Method Framework is H, hammer the arms, A, arc the foot, R, reach the toes, P, punch the knee, E, elevate the torso, and R, rotate the legs, okay? So inside the Harper system, you're going to get some video modules, all right? There's going to be five modules. It's actually going to be like seven. Um, a couple of them in the beginning is, is to get you, get you warmed up, get you started. Um, but these are the main modules. You got the hammer to arms module one, where you're gonna learn how to run with the learn the proper arm swing. All right. Uh, two, you're gonna learn how to position the foot properly for running. Module three, you're gonna learn how to strike the ground to improve stride and speed. Uh, module four, you're gonna learn how to use power when driving the knee to increase your stride. Module uh, five is actually module five. You're gonna you're gonna learn how to properly position the body for effective running. And then module six, supposed to be module six there, um, you is rotate the legs uh, and you're learning how to rotate the legs efficiently so that you don't waste movements, okay? All right. 
So, meet Coach Jeremy. Coach Jeremy had four kids drop between one and a half to four seconds in just three weeks because he was in the program that we talked about. So I want to let you hear from him here uh, for just a second. I think it's about, about a minute here that he's talking. So listen in to Coach right, Jeremy as he I'm talks about the program. And <clears throat> talk about Coach Harper. Um, I was struggling to get uh, – couple of my kids to start dropping some times. Uh, caught him on TikTok and started uh, talking to him when he was on the live, when he was working with his daughter. I said, hey, go down, download my ebook, give me some ideas, help me out. Um, my four of my 400 runners, three boys, one girl have started to drop times. And when I mean drop times, I'm talking like seconds. Um, one went from a 102 to a one minute. One went from a 53 to, uh, I mean, a 54 to a 53 and a half. One went from a 59 to a 55. The other one went from a 102 to a 59. Um, so I just want to shout out to Coach Harper. His ebook does work. His stuff does work. Um, so I want to thank him, and I'm looking forward to seeing how the rest of the season goes. So again, I want to just thank him, and I appreciate everything he's done. All right, Coach Jeremy, thank you. All right. So as you can hear from, from him, a satisfied, satisfied uh client here who did have a lot of time dropped off their kids, off the kids' uh time. Um just using the program that I had. All right. So let's talk about who this works for. This works for people who are in track and field, football, soccer, lacrosse, basketball, pretty much any sport that you have to run. All right. Uh and Here's why some people still don't start because they think that they have to actually be the coach. And the truth is you don't have to be a coach or after have, have to coach at all because this program was created with the parent in mind. So we've had people who, like I said, we had people who don't know anything about the sport and they had their athlete run properly and get faster in just two weeks. So you don't have to do any of this heavy lifting. Why? Because I'm going to give you four live training sessions via Zoom valued at $1,600. So that means if I sold this to you by itself, it'd be $1,600 for four live Zoom training via Zoom, all right? So let's talk about that. So in those live Zoom sessions, they're going to be about 30 to 45 minutes. I'm going to address, I'm going to address any individual questions or concerns, okay? Any individual questions or concerns. So there's a, there's a support tab inside of the program where you click on it and you can fill out the, the, the uh, form there. And then on the live, when I meet with you live on the Zoom, I'm gonna address those before we actually get started, okay? Uh, and then I can help you. You also wanna get drill work, okay? Some of the stuff that we did outside and get some of that. Then we're gonna work on form running, all right? And then we're gonna have some cool down period time for you in there as well. So again, in the, in the Zoom sessions, we're gonna make sure we address concerns and make sure they're doing the drills correctly. And we're going to fix any of those running floor problems, any questions that you have. If you're doing something right, am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? Right. So we're going to talk about that. Then we're going to walk through the specific drills together so to ensure that you're learning properly. All right. Make sure the kids are learning. Right. Then we're going to practice running the correct form over a short distance. So you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to leave the backyard. All right. You don't have to leave the front yard. You don't have to go into a huge field. Although if you want to go in a huge field, that will work for you as well. Um, and then we're going to go to cool down to help prevent injuries and nurture any uh, with past injuries and to strengthen and loosen your hip flexors. All right. So here's the results. Using those same things that I was talking about, I had a guy here who said he has a high school lacrosse player who needed to improve his speed. The tips that we did in there had already had made a difference. All right. So we get lots and lots and lots of results. So again, who does this work for? Those same people. Football, basketball, soccer, lacrosse, all of those, all of those people. Now, you're probably thinking this, guys. I'm probably thinking, are these session times flexible? Are these session times flexible? Well, let's take a look at it. So our session times are typically on Thursdays, and we usually go from 5:30 Eastern time and we do 8:30 Eastern time. All right. So I put the the, the time conversions here. So if you're in a central time zone, It'll be 4.30 p.m. and 7.30 p.m., all right? If you're in the mountain time, that's 3.30 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. Uh, if you're in uh, Pacific, it'll be 2.30 p.m. and 5.30 p.m., 
So does that mean I'm going to come on, let's see, uh, two, four, six, eight. Does that mean I'm going to come on eight times? No, it means I'm going to come on two times, right? I'm only going to come on two times at 5.30 Eastern and at 8.30 Eastern. So I just did the time conversions for you so you can see what time I'll be on. So um, this works, this this helps for anybody in pretty much any time zone, all right? So if you're on Eastern time zone, you'll start it. You can do the 5.30 session or you can do the 8.30 session. If you're in the central time zone, my 5.30 session is your 4.30 session, right? Uh, or you can do the 7.30 session. My 8.30 session is your 7.30 session. Again, so forth and so on. Mountain time, my 5.30 is your 3.30, 3.30 session. And you'll probably end up, probably most of you in the mountain time will probably be in the, end up on the 6.30 session, my 8.30 session. And if you're in the Pacific, you probably end up on the 5.30 session again, which is my 8.30 session, all right? So we got a session to cover pretty much everybody across all time zones. So there's two session times. So of course we can we can uh, help with the people who are on the West Coast, all right? Love my West Coast people, all right? But you know, after this, after getting those two things, some people still don't start. Here's why some people still don't start. Most people think that they have to, they have they don't have much time to fit in training with their current schedules, right? Like I said before, actually you only need about 15 20 to 20 minutes a few times a week. And remember that 15 minute rule that I talked about and how Chloe became Chloe became a champion in her first year of running. So with this program, you won't have to worry about any of that time because I'm going to throw in the 30 day speed accelerator program on top of that. All right? I'm going to throw in that that speed accelerator after that, okay? So let's talk about the speed accelerator. So in that speed accelerator, there's gonna be four speed workouts per week. And we're gonna skip that Thursday or that Wednesday, um, that Wednesday workout because you're gonna be doing a live uh, workout with me on those days. Now, out of this split speed accelerator, I want you to do at least two to three of those, but at least two of those workouts because on that Thursday, you're actually going to get that live workout with me, and that's going to be your third time. That's going to be your third time. But if you want to do more, you can do more. But this is going to help you over the next 30 days get that excel get that speed up. All right, while you're learning how to run properly, right? So you're going to get four speed workouts per week. It's going to be links to your drills in there and the speed tracker. Now this works hand in hand with the uh, the lifetime access to the Harper system, right? So. The workouts focus on the speed and works hand-in-hand -hand with the Harper system. Just like I said, you got to hit short, powerful workouts. You're going to do links to the drills for proper running and speed. All right. Then you're going to get that speed tracker to track progress. And that's going to be a way for me to actually look into your athlete's progress. Now, I have a unique way of getting results. And that way I get results is that I make sure that I check in on you guys and make sure that everybody stays accountable to doing what they're doing because you cannot get faster if you're not doing the work. So what I like to do is make sure that I'm present always to make sure that you make sure you the athletes doing the work. So you don't have to do it. All right. Okay. Here's some good results here. Joe, the ACO, <laughs> um, he says this about the program, bro, your program is amazing. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. All right. So again, results, People love the program and it's good. All right. So do you know that after all of that, some people still don't want to start? And here's why some people still want to start because they think that their athlete has, because their athlete has had prior injuries or had a condition that it won't help them. Or they wonder if it'll help, they wonder if they'll help them at all. Again, these drills work for any of those gait issues and other conditions. Like I said, my wife had foot surgery and she's flat footed and she still earned a division one scholarship, right? And if she had me as her coach, she probably went D1 plus. <laughs> um, but with this program, you're not gonna have to worry about any of those prior injuries uh, or any of those conditions. Why? Because we're gonna throw in the injury prevention essentials video drill pack. That's $150 value. So this, pro pro this program is coming up, coming on pretty good. We got a lot of good things going on here, all right? All right, so let's talk about that. The Injury Prevention Essential Video Drill Pack. We went over some of those things outside. So the injury, you're going to get injury prevention drills and guided video instruction. So the drills in the pack is going to be good for your hip flexor strength. They're going to be good for mobility and for flexibility. All, all the things that are essential 
to actually running faster and actually preventing injury, right? So they not only prevent injury, they're actually giving you flexibility and mobility. Those are things you need for speed, all right? So, again, you're probably thinking, you know, my athlete just started a sport. You know, I don't know if that's still good. Maybe maybe I might do it a little bit later because my athlete just started track or they just started basketball. You know, it's basketball season now. Somebody might just start at basketball. But you don't have to worry about that because this program is still good for that. And why is it still good? It's good for in season and out of season. First thing about it is it won't make them overly tired to go to practice or it won't make them exhausted after practice. Okay. Just like we went outside, those were pretty low impact things. Everything's going to be between five and seven yards. And it's actually good for in season training. All right. Because it actually helps your athlete perform at their peak. It's going to help them peak at the right time when they need it the most. See, most people, they stop their training during the season because they think, oh, we train for the season, all right? There's two different types of training. There's out of season training that trains you to get ready for the season. And then there's in season training that keeps you going through the season, that keeps your, your, your muscles firing at, the, at, at peak level. Because most people got the misconception that practice is training. Practice is not training. Practice is practice. Training is training, right? There's two distinct differences there, okay? There's things that you do in training that you don't do in practice, right? So what this does is it works on that, it continuously, constantly works on the, the form that, they, that they're, they're running for them. So they're continuously drilling it because obviously we can't just drill it one time and think we're going to get it. We're going to get it, right? You need more and more practice, all right? So this is still good for in and out of season. So it doesn't matter if you just started a sport. It doesn't matter if you know, you're in the middle of a sport season or even at the end of the sport season, you still need it, right? It's still going to help you, right? As a matter of fact, I was just watching on ESPN, um, was it Jalen Hurts, the quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles? He literally lifts weights the day of the game. And then after the game, he goes in and does a weight session. Why? Because he said it fires up his muscles. It gives, it helps him perform at peak level. And so if a professional is doing it, why are we not doing it? Why are we not doing it on the, on the lower levels, right? Okay. Do you know that after all of this, some people still don't start, <laughs> you know, some people, you know, most people have, most people don't have a full program that helps their athlete get individual instruction, quick training, um, that doesn't take a lot of time and a guide to help them every step of the way. So the parent doesn't have to figure it out. But as a parent, you don't have to worry about this because with this program, I'm also going to throw in all of this, this is the entire program. But I got a little bit more for you, okay? I got a little bit more for you. Some also, some people also think that they're alone when it comes to an online program. And most programs just give you videos and a manual. But you won't have to worry about that at all because you're gonna also get 24 seven email support. So you're gonna get support at your fingertip whenever you need it. So whenever you need it, there's a support tab. Click the support tab, fill out the, fill out the paperwork, and I'll send you an email back. Uh, and I also have another special bonus for you, and I'm going to tell you about that in just a second. But I'm throwing that in as well. That's a $500 value, okay? But I got more for you, okay? I got more for you. You're also going to get another free bonus, the Elite Foot Hurdle Mastery Video Pack. That's designed to increase your stride efficiency and agility, okay? All right? So I'm going to throw that in there as well. So you're going to get that. That's another $150 value. All right. But you know, I'm not done yet. You're going to get one more free bonus, and that's the nutrition guide. The key to performing better is the fuel that you put in your body. So I'm going to give you the nutrition plans that help the body function at a high level. Now, it's a nutrition, nutrition guide. I always consult your physician before you start a new diet. Got to say that. Disclaimer. But... It is a guide to help you put the right things, help your youth athlete put the right things in their body so they can perform at a higher level. Cause it's not always, it's not always about, you know, how the, the mechanics is how much, how you feel your body. So the whole package in a nutshell, lifetime access to the Harper system running mechanics mastery program, the four live training via zoom, the 30 day speed accelerator program, the injury prevention essentials, video drill pack, 24 seven email support, 
the free bonus of the Elite Hur Foot Hurdle Mastery video pack and then the Nutrition Guide for a total value of that package of $3,797. Sound like we're on prices right, right? <laughs> but let me ask you a question. I'm gonna ask you a couple questions here, okay? Now, if all this did was fix your kids running for them and made them a little faster, would it be worth the $3,797? Now, obviously, I'm not going to charge you $3,797, all right? But if I did charge you $3,797 and, and all it did was fix your kids running for them and made them a little faster, do you think it would be worth it? And you can answer in the you can answer here in the chat here. Yes. Yes or yes. <laughs> yes or yes. And I know, again, you guys are on a delay because so if I'm quiet and it sound, sounds awkward, it's because I'm just waiting for you to, to answer yes or yes. All right. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Cool. We're just waiting a little bit. OK. All right. Good. Uh, and if all this did was teach your, your athlete how to fit a short but effective workout in three to four times a week to gain a competitive edge over the competition, would it be worth that $3,797? Okay. Yes or yes? <laughs> yes or yes? Yes, yes? All right. And again, I know you, you guys are on delay. And you can type in the chat. So again, if I'm quiet, it's because I got a little bit of a delay here and wait for you guys to get in. All right. Okay, cool. Now, if all this did was teach your athlete how to run properly without having to worry about a prior injury or a condition getting in the way, would it be worth that $3,797? Yes or yes? <laughs> now getting it with the yeses. Yes or yes? Yes, 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 yes. So listen, I had two choices. I could price this high versus pricing it low. Now I opted to price it a little higher so I can deliver a, a little bit more value. But listen, I'm not gonna charge you that $3,797. Like I said earlier, I'm not gonna charge you $3,797. In fact, let me ask you, how much would you pay? Well, what would the end result be worth to you? And how, mu how much would you pay for that? How much would you pay? You let me know in the chat. How much would you actually pay for something like this? Now, we're not talking about $3,797 here. I'm asking you, what would you pay for something like this to get that transformation, to get your youth athlete from where they are now to running properly, to running faster and dominating their sport? What, what would you pay? What would that be worth to you? What would you pay for that? And and that's not a trick question. I'm not going to say, oh, you said two thousand. I put two thousand. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's two thousand dollars now. No, I'm not going to do that. No. So it's not a trick question. So go, don't be scared to answer that one, <laughs> right? Okay. All right. Okay. Good. So full price three thousand. The full value of that package three thousand seven hundred ninety seven dollars. Now I could charge nineteen ninety seven on my website. And that would be fair, right? So some of you said 2,000, some of you said uh, 800, 400, 500, good. Um, but listen, I'm not gonna charge you $1,997 either, all right? Because you're an action taker, and I know you're an action taker because you're here right now, right? Because you're an action taker, I'm gonna give you a very, very special offer. Are you guys ready to know what the price of this is gonna be? Are you guys ready to see what is actually going to cost? What, not even cost, what the investment in your child's future is going to be. I think you'll be very surprised. So the full package, price of that package was $3,797. That was the full value of the package. I'm going to give you that entire package for only $397. Now, decision time. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this link here in this chat, in this chat box, 
so that you can go ahead and get registered. Why? Because it's only a limited time that I'm going to offer this at this price. All right. Okay. Let me get let me pull let me get this in here for you guys. Let me see. Let's see. It's, oh, it's right here. Let me get that. Let me get this right here. Okay, hold on. This thing's coming up. Let me put that in the chat. All right. So that's in there in the chat. Okay. That link. So if you are action taker right now, ready to just slap that on the card, click on that link that I just put in the chat there. So you can get registered right now because like I said, this price is a limited time offer and you want to get registered as soon as possible, okay? All right, cool. So listen, if you were to hire me to do all of this individually for 30 days, it would cost you about $2,000, about $1,997. For you to hire me one-to-one -to, -one to do this for about 30 days, it will cost you two grand, all right? And that's a real number. <laughs> like I literally, like, it'd be one of those, it'd be like, how, like, Derek, I need you to hire you for the next 30 days to train my youth athlete one-to-one, -one, do all the things that you're doing in that package for them one-to-one -one individual help. I would say, okay, that'll be 1997. Do you want, you? how do you want to pay? Cash, no, Visa, Master, <laughs> or American Express. That's exactly how I say it. <laughs> right roll off my tongue just as easy as that so here's the thing you got two choices choice number one you can do nothing and your athletes gonna stay where they are or you can do choice number two where you can just test it out all right so what do you mean by test it out Derek I'm gonna tell you test it out means I'm gonna give you my guarantee so I'm giving you a 30-day money-back guarantee so if you show up to all the sessions and you do all the recommended training, okay? And you feel like it wasn't worth what you paid for it, I wanna give you 100% refund, no questions asked, okay? And then you can keep all those extra things like the uh, nutrition guide and the, the video packs and stuff like that, all right? So the real question is, are you gonna take action? Are you gonna take action tonight? Are you gonna invest in your future? Because here's the, here's the thing. It's going to cost you more to not invest in your youth athlete's future than it will be to invest this $397 in them right now to get them started and pave the way for them to achieve greatness in the future. So the real question is, are you going to let $397 get in the way of your youth athlete's future? Right? Again, think about college. You spend three hundred ninety-seven dollars now. They get a college scholarship. You off the hook for four hundred thousand dollars later, or you can do nothing. They don't get a scholarship, and then you got to pay four hundred thousand dollars later. So what do you want to pay? You want to pay four hundred bucks or four hundred thousand dollars <laughs> or four hundred thousand bucks? Right. That's the real question. So let's look at the package again. You get lifetime access to the Harper System Runner Mechanics Mastery Program. You get a thirty-day speed accelerator program. You get four live trainings via Zoom with me, <laughs> speed coach extraordinaire, all right? You get the injury prevention essentials video drill pack. It's $150 value. You get 24-7 email support, $250 value. You get that free bonus of that elite foot hurdle mastery video drill pack. And then you get a free bonus of a nutrition, of the nutrition guy, $150 value. For that total value of that package of three thousand of three thousand seven hundred and ninety seven dollars, <laughs> like you're on a game show, but you're only going to pay three hundred and ninety seven dollars, a little over ten percent of that, right? Three hundred and ninety seven dollars. That's an amazing package for three hundred and ninety seven dollars, right? So I urge you to hurry. I urge you to hurry because if you make the choice right now to join tonight. I'm actually going to upgrade your package to the VIP package. And so what's the VIP package? That means you're going to get everything that's in that system. Plus, you're going to get access to my training app where you're going to get unlimited running evaluations. And you're going to get access directly to me via text on my training app during for that next 30 days, okay? For your entire enrollment period, you're going to get access to me on my training app. 
all right? Unlimited running evaluations and access directly to me. So again, click the link in the chat. Go ahead and get registered because when you do that tonight, right? On tonight only though, it's only tonight. If you do it tomorrow, you're not going to get that, all right? Do it tomorrow, we're not going to do it. Only tonight. If you click the thing and you do it tonight, all right, before midnight, you're going to get that upgrade to VIP. You're going to get access to training app. And here's the thing. When I give you training on that training app, you can send me a video. I'm going to be able to look at that video, give you, give you a, a breakdown of what's going on via another video where I'm actually going to be able to, you're actually going to see me, my face in the corner, your video with my face in the corner, and I'm going to be talking to you and I'm going to be illustrating stuff on the screen trying to tell you what to do. You know, if you ever watch football and you see the little, the yellow writing on the screen, I can do that on that, on that app. And so it's a very valuable tool. It's nothing more valuable than being able to get direct instruction from uh, the coach and get that extra, that extra help there. All right. So, but it's only tonight. If you do it tonight, you're going to get unlimited, you're going to get unlimited running valuations and access directly to me via text for the next 30 days during your entire enrollment period. But it's only tonight. If you do it tomorrow, it's not going to be available. Only those people who take an action right now, tonight. So click the link in the chat and get ready. All right. So again, I urge you to get started today for only $397. This package, all right, is only available until Saturday at 11.59 p.m. Now, like I said, this package with that last Action Taker VIP upgrade is only available tonight, all right? You can only get that Action Taker VIP upgrade tonight. If you wait till tomorrow, you're only going to get everything else. You're going to get everything else. You just won't get that VIP upgrade, all right? And it's only available, this whole pack is only available till Saturday at 11.59 p.m., all right? So if you're an action taker, you're ready to snap that on a card, go ahead and click the link in the box, click the link in the bio. I'm, you know, I'm on a social media all the time. Go ahead and click the link in, in the chat that's there. Uh, and then go ahead and go ahead and get in. All right. Now, I'm going to open the floor up to you guys. What questions do you have for me? And if you don't have any questions, that's fine. But what questions do you have for me? Just slap them questions in the chat and I will go ahead and answer any questions that you have about this program, okay? Any questions that you have, go ahead and put it in the chat. And again, you guys are on a delay, so you know I'm waiting a couple of minutes. So if I'm quiet for a few minutes, it's because I'm waiting on your, your, your responses here. Okay, I don't see any I don't see any questions. That's a good thing. If, there, if there's no questions, it seems like I, I answered all your questions properly there. All right. So again, click that link in the chat to get started today. This is only available until Saturday at 11:59 p.m. If you want to get that action taker take VIP upgrade, which is a $250 upgrade if you do it outside of this. Okay, but you're gonna get you're gonna get another two hundred and fifty dollar value added on to what you already got right here. Okay, if you do it right now, three hundred ninety seven dollars. You're gonna be able to actually once you do it, and you click in and you hit submit. Once the payment goes through, you will get immediate access to this, so you can actually start working tonight if you wanted to, <laughs> right? So you'll get immediate access to it, and. You'll be all good to go. You'll get an email password. You go, you put your email in, you're gonna create an own password. You're gonna get access to this whole system right there. Uh, and then we can get started. You can get started as soon as the next couple of minutes here. <laughs> okay. As soon as your payment goes through, you get access. All right. So if there is no more questions for me, man, I thank you for your time. Uh, thank you for coming out. Thank you for showing up for you, actually. Thank you for showing up for you. Thank you for showing up. For your youth athlete, uh, again, the link is in the chat. Go ahead and get started right now. If you wait until Saturday, you won't. Get, are you waiting until tomorrow? You're not going to get that action take a VIP upgrade, but you'll be all ready to go with everything else. All right. So, with that being said, like I always say, 
Remember that everything that you do today affects your future. So remember tomorrow. All right. I'm Coach Harper, and I will talk to you guys another time. You guys have a great night.